This is Eric White. In this screencast, I'm going to walk through the steps of building and running Power Tools for OpenXML 2.2. Go to powertools.codeplex.com. You can download Power Tools for OpenXML by clicking on this link. Or you can click on the Downloads tab and download it from this link right here. Once you have downloaded it, extract everything. Start Visual Studio by double clicking on the solution file. Pick Build, Rebuild Solution. Now go to your My Documents folder and create a new folder and call it Windows PowerShell. Inside Windows PowerShell, create a new folder and call it Modules. Inside of Modules, create a new folder and call it OpenXML Power Tools. Go to the location where you built the Power Tools and copy out the OpenXML Power Tools.dll and OpenXML Power Tools.dll-help.xml. Go back to that directory that you just created, Windows PowerShell slash modules slash OpenXML Power Tools, and paste those two files in that directory. Start Windows PowerShell. Now import the module. You can get a list of all the commandlets by typing get command dash module that lists all of the commandlets in the module. Here we'll test out one of the commandlets. I'll create a new Word document. Add a little bit of text and close it. I'm going to do something. I'm going to drag it to Visual Studio and I'm going to edit it in the Open XML Package Editor Power Tool for Visual Studio. I'm going to do something here which is I'm going to delete that paragraph element and make it an invalid document. And now I'm going to confirm openxml valid dot slash test dot docx and it tells me it's an invalid document. The element has invalid child element and gives me the path to the element that contains the error so we've got everything all up and going. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. In the near future I'm going to be posting a whole bunch of videos about how to use many aspects of Power Tools for OpenXML.